Hi and welcome to Polynome. In this short video, I'm going to give you the layout of the app on the iPad and iPhone and show you where you can find more help if you need it. So when Polynome loads for the first time, on an iPad you'll see two screens. The library screen, which also contains the active playlist and the menu, and the preset view, which contains the preset which is currently loaded. On an iPhone, you will just see the library screen, and if you wish to view the currently loaded preset, you simply swipe the screen to the left. To get back to the library, you can swipe the screen to the right, or you can tap on the back button in the top left. Wherever you see a question mark or an eye in a circle in Polynome, you can find more info. So tapping on the question mark on the library page will take you to the help for the library, and you can also navigate to other help from within here. If the help page fails to answer your question and you couldn't find an answer, or it showed incorrect information, you can follow the link at the bottom to report this. The metronome button in the tab bar loads up the default metronome preset. You can tap on the metronome button on the preset view to quickly set the subdivisions or sounds for the metronome, and you can tap on the time signature to change the time signature of the metronome. This metronome preset is designed to be used whenever you just want quick access to a click and you're not interested in logging your practice time against a named preset or playing to a drum groove or something more complex. Let's go back to the library. The Get More Presets button on the library will take you to the public library where you can create a free account and download user-created presets and playlists. You can also browse some example presets by tapping on the plus in the top right and choosing Browse Examples. This allows you to quickly install some ready-made demos. For example, this demo shows you how to program a drum groove. It has a link to install the demo and some instructions that explain how to create the preset. Then you can tap on it to load it. It will be loaded into the preset view and if at any time you want to review those instructions, you'll find them by tapping the preset name, clicking on more info. So now you see in the presets library, we have another preset. If you want to create your own presets, tap on the plus button and choose a new rhythm or song click or track markup or polyrhythm preset. You'll find more information about each of these on the help page by navigating to the presets tab. On the library page, you'll also find playlists and goals. Note that when the playlists tab is selected, the buttons at the top now relate to playlists. So tapping plus will allow you to create a new playlist, a new polyrhythm playlist, or a new cover band playlist, or browse some example playlists. Again, you can learn more about playlists by tapping on the help. When you tap on a playlist in the playlists library, it will be loaded into the active playlist tab. Let's tap on Playlist Introduction. You can see that the Active Playlist tab is selected, and now you can tap here to learn more about playlists. Let's go back to the library and add an example playlist. I will install this snare solo. This particular playlist has some notes that you can view, and the playlist contains sub-playlists. So I can load American Drummer Solo number 22. And I'll get to see some help about this. And you can see here, we have bar one, bar two, bar three, etc. This is playing through the solo. And if you want to view the notation, remember, just swipe the screen to the left. Or if you tap on an already loaded item, it will automatically show it. To get back to the index, tap on the back button. To learn more about playlists, you can tap on the help button on the active playlist page. Finally, in the library, you'll find the goals tab and you can learn more about goals by tapping on the help button and choosing goals. Goals allow you to select individual presets and playlists and specify how much time you want to practice those on certain days of the week. Effectively, it's a way of scheduling your practice and preventing you from having to find the individual items that you want to locate in your presets and playlists library. 
Finally, the menu tab has access to the inbox, the practice log, daily journal, public library, backups, preferences, further help. And you'll find more information about all of these in the Getting Started Guide. So that's the basics of Polynome. If you have any questions that you can't find the answers to, you can always contact me at support at polynome.net. Thank you for using Polynome.